Thank you for staying with us here on Open House here on CNA 938. We move on to the next part of our conversation all about Van Hollen, a development on Holland Road, and we welcome Danny Hahn to our conversation. Danny is Associate Senior Division Director with Hutton's Asia Private Limited and hollandproperty.com.sg. Danny, thank you for joining us today. Good to talk to Good you morning, again. Good morning, Susan. Hi, good to talk with you again. All right, so um, let's uh, now start off with Van Hollen, right? This is a freehold development. Uh, we kind of know where it is. It sits on the site of the former Toho Mansion. It was purchased at a price of $1,805 per square foot per plot ratio, currently selling at an average price of 2900 per square foot. Is this a fair price for the units? Well, in my personal opinion, I do feel at $2,900 per square foot is slightly on the higher side, especially if you compare it with some other new projects in the Holland Farrell area. Its profit margin of about 24% is also higher than its competitors. However, on the other hand, for a freehold development that is just across from Holland Village, it does come with a premium. The closest comparison would be Mui Residences, uh, also a freehold uh, boutique development, but only with 24 units and only four minutes walk to Harlem Village. It has uh, an average price of $2,415 per square foot, which is considerably lower than Van Holden. However, Van Holden does come with better facilities than Mui Residences. Mm, so I'm glad you, you mentioned the facilities because Van Hollen is actually a comparatively small development. There are only 70 units from one to four bedroom layouts, but there is also a full suite of condo facilities. So tell us more about these facilities available. And does this also mean that the maintenance uh, costs will be steeper since there's fewer units to share the costs? Well, to be more exact, Van Hollen has 69 units. And for a small development, it does provide an impressive suite of facilities, which include two lab pools, which is very unusual for a small development. It has one on the ground floor and another on the sky terrace. Then you have the usual children's pool, jacuzzi spa, gym, a night clubhouse, and a gourmet pavilion. Other interesting facilities include a bike, garage i guess nowadays a lot mm. of people biking mm. so yes. that it seems quite nice and even a junior rock climbing wall oh well, okay the, it sounds yeah. like you've got the club right at your doorstep <laughs> yeah that's right <laughs> and the fewer number of units have been fallen i would say definitely has a bearing on his uh maintenance fee especially with the number of facilities and also some of the units have uh, private leaves and this also will bring up the maintenance fee. If you do a comparison like for a two bader and Van Holland, you would be looking at a maintenance of $588 per, uh, per month and for the three and four beaters uh, as much as $686 per square foot. I mean $686 maintenance fee. Now if you compare that with a uh, bigger development like Leiden Green, a larger project with 638 units, the maintenance is only from $240 to $390. So yeah, I would say that the, the, small, the fewer units does bring up the maintenance fee. I suppose, Danny, in this case, for people who select to live in this particular development, you would want all the amenities that come with it, right? Because it does play a part in the decision. That's not just the price of the condo that you have to think about. It's also the hidden costs, as we call it, isn't it? All the maintenance and things like that. That's right. I That's mean, right. judging by what you say, you know, it, it's really a clubhouse at your doorstep. I do like the addition of the bike garage, though. <laughs> that, that's a clever idea without having you, you know, to drag your bike all the way back to your own flat and locking it up there. You've got somewhere to park it before you leave. However, Van Holland is, sits amongst a new launch developments yeah, uh, in the Holland Village area. How does it compare against all the new ones coming up? Well, it's actually very interesting that there are quite a number of new developments in the vicinities that will launch around the same time, mm. which give a lot of competition. 
And this is the result that on block fever in the year 2017 and 2018. So that does give buyers uh, choices in this area. If you look at the prices, all right, and the size, uh, Van Holland has, uh, for example, 69 units, averaging 2009 per square foot. One Holland Village Residences, a leasehold development, 296 units, uh, averaging now about 2687 per square foot. Hill on Holland, further down the road, uh, 319 units, averaging uh, $2,430 per square foot. Leiden Green, uh, near to Ferrer Road MRT Station, uh, 638 units, uh, averaging 2,683 units, uh, 2,683 uh, 2, per square foot. And Mui Residences with 24 units, averaging $2,415 per square foot. So as we can see, the price of Van Holland is actually higher than, than the rest. However, with one exception, which is 15 Holland Hill. This project has only 57 units with an average price of $3,045 per square foot. Now, this is uh, targeted at buyers who are looking for spacious units because they're, you know, Nowadays, you don't find many new yes. condo units that are above 2,000 mm -hmm. uh, square foot. So they are very rare. So this uh, demand, so it caters to this uh, group of buyers. And it's actually selling pretty well in spite of the price. And facility-wise, I would say most have uh, the standard lab pools and so on. But mm -hmm. uh, for Leiden Green and One Holland Village Residences, out of the whole list, they are the only one that have tennis court, all right? And as for interior fittings, all of these are high-end developments, so they do come with top-of-the-line finishing appliances and fittings. However, one unique feature of Van Holland I'd like to highlight is the book match marble flooring. And what that means is that when the pieces of the marble are placed side by side, they mirror each other like uh, an open oh, book. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And this is possible because of the way that the marble slabs are cut to give the same pattern. And another interesting feature of Van Holland is the faucets actually come with Swarovski crystals. <laughs> this oh. is the first time I've ever seen it. They talk about class, and it's just amazing. I mean, All right. okay, mm. yes, that that's uh, something additional. I'm, I'm not sure if I would want it, but hey, you know, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Ning. Mm, so now if we look at the site layout for Van Holland, right, you'll notice that it is basically made out of two main rows of residential blocks. And there's actually very little space between the two rows of blocks. Now, this means that a lot of the inward facing units, they're actually in quite close proximity across each other. So they'll be facing each other and, and not much space in between. Do you think this might be a deal breaker for that residents who might value privacy? Uh, well, I would say the closeness of this unit is one big disadvantage of Van Holland. And some of them can be as close as 5.4 meters, which is definitely too mm. close for comfort. Mm. And if you look at the sale transactions, so far the units are facing each other are faring very badly. Uh, only the corner units are selling quite okay, but and uh, the smaller units are facing each other. Are uh, you know some of them totally unsold. All right, and the corner units like the two penthouses are, are fully sold. So from this data, we can conclude that the close proximity of this unit does have a very negative impact. Okay, so certainly something to have a think about. And uh, visits, can I just check with you, uh, Danny? Uh, showroom gallery visits, in-person visits to developments and units, are they already open to the public? Do they also, yes, yes. Ha again, have to pre-register before they visit? Yes, yes okay, so mm. Okay, so pre-registration uh, for viewings at show flats and galleries continue to, again, be by appointment only. Danny, thank you so much for making time to talk to us today. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you. Danny Hahn, Associate Senior Division Director with Hutton's Asia Private Limited.